A few weeks ago, I shared a video about a disruptive reoccurring character named Frank that pops up from time to time. I did what I thought was best in handling it, and briefly it seemed to work. I then took some time and started my review of my research from the last seven years. I put together the first episode of the Hope Chronicles and continued with my readings and private box sessions I do for the patrons on Patreon. While conducting two private sessions at separate times, I received validating responses from the patrons' loved ones, but a few responses came through that pertained to me, I felt. In the first private session, these responses came up regarding the light. Sounds like I'm getting answers, Connor. Yeah. Protection team of light. Protection team of light. I saw her song. I thought I heard Michael's name just now by a woman. Um, After dealing with Frank weeks ago, I received a bit of intuitive information from Michael about how when he comes down from heaven, it makes him susceptible to feeling pain when he helps. That in heaven he's safe from harm, but down here not always. Is this what was meant by that statement? I then got a response in the private session I knew had nothing to do with the patron. Now I have a dog. For the last year or so, every once in a while, while asleep, he'd jump up and run and hide, as if someone just randomly kicked him. When I shared this with Steve Huff as we discuss our findings, he shared the exact same thing happens to only one of his dogs, and it's been happening for about a year or so. The other night I meditated, and this time sent light to Frank. Based on what was said about handling everything with light, I changed my approach a bit and also wanted to try and help guide any spirits looking for help. I did a grounding just now. I focused on light. I also focused on trying to help someone who is being or has been disrupting and being negative at times. So I've focused on that and trying to show love because Ultimately, anyone that comes in the way of this work is going to be removed at some point. But as it came through the box in a private session, everything is done by the light. And that the team of protection has light. And I'm grateful for that. Michael, are you here? Are you present? Can you come through? Can any of the guides, Bob? From Loyola. I appreciate you bearing with me, hanging in there sometimes when I don't understand what's going on. I still don't. I trust in Jesus Christ. That's I have 60 why. years. Jesus is my savior. He's my master guide. And even though at times I feel closer to him than others, I trust that there is nothing that I can do to separate myself from him. I will always... Yeah, there you are. I ask about, of course, I, well, I don't, it's not of course, but I ask about Anthony Bourdain. I, I know that, you know, at one point I tried... Hard science. I tried helping him, and the communication with him was pretty pretty amazing. I thank you, the guides that come through and help. Despite the confusion, despite me not being able to understand a lot of the messages, along with doing the Hope Chronicles series, I've decided to put all my findings and research into a book I just started. The guides have mentioned it a few times now. 
Was that response referring to how they'll help me? Are there any spirit here that need that need help? Will the spirit that needs help come forward? I ask the I ask the guides to help them, bring them forward. Feel a charge even more. Lord, I do this work not knowing. I feel that loud sound that came through, and charge of energy I felt was the angel mentioned. And I thank you for allowing me to be one of the light workers, and I'm grateful for that. All right. I ask Michael. If he is here, able to communicate, are you here, Michael? I don't know why Michael was having such a hard time speaking. Maybe he feels restricted from the unwanted guest. Maybe it's because I feel the slight disconnect. So I've asked for the light. It sounds like they need light or it was asked about, which is all I'm ever trying to do is focus on the light and bring it down. So I will focus again. So I invite the spirit that needs help to be around. As I channel light down. I find it interesting before when I asked for a spirit needing help, I heard a baby. I then ask again and hear a mother. Could it be connected? Will the spirit that needs help come forward, I ask. This is pure light, God's light, source. And now we hear leaving, as I totally focus on the light coming down. A sign I believe someone received help. I'm gonna shut this down here soon, here in a few minutes. Strange. Steve and I both had a Betty coming through for us. Was she the one needing help? All right, let's see. All right, I'm closing this down. I love you, and I will review this, and if there's anything else that I can do, I will do it. Good night, Michael. Alright, good night, Michael. Alright. 
So now that you've seen the latest session I've done, let me share with you briefly what I'm finding thus far in going back and reviewing my past work. After the first episode of the Hope Chronicles I uploaded, I started working on the next episode, which will be on Connie, the medium I worked with early on in doing this work. I noticed a session I did with her from two years ago I never uploaded. Here's a short two-minute clip from that session. We're recording. So are you ready to begin? Yes, let's begin. I've got the portal and the SCD-1 going. Well, hello. Hello, spirits. Josh and I are here to help you, and Jesus already came through and said that he wants us to speak with you quickly and that you're ready to move forward and kind of in a suffering place. Um, how many do we have? Yeah, how many of are you? Um, Six. So how many are with you personally here? And he said it right. Wow. So you said six. Um, we are a family now. Us. So you six are family members? No. But are like family members. They've been together and I guess they're close. Since passing in yes. this place? Yes. Yeah. Who's speaking right now? I am the father. What's your name? And not of them, but of <laughs> my dead children. The father of two beloved dead children. I have been here waiting for them to see them, to touch them, to hear them. I have not been able to. It has been so, tor you know, torture, tormenting. So just in this two-minute clip, we hear Michael mentioned twice, showing yet again it looks like he's been there all along. Also, another example of the words coming through the box before Connie would even channel them. Just amazing. But I looked at the date of this unpublished video, and wouldn't you know it, December 30th, 2016, almost exactly two years ago to the date. The reason I bring this up, I just recently called Connie and we are planning to meet up before New Year's. One, because my next Hope Chronicles episode is mostly on her, but mainly because I have felt a disconnect recently and thought her and I meeting would spark something. Being that I'm too close to the work sometimes, it helps to meet with other spiritual people to get different perspectives. Then I remembered why I met her two years ago for that session I just showed you. Because I felt the same way, a slight disconnect. So I decided to check in my archives of the videos that preceded that date. I do so many sessions on my own and for other people that I forget what comes through. I found about a month before I did a video called Seven Sessions. I remember at the time I wasn't getting much. Here I'm speaking briefly about what I was feeling. I thought I was watching a recent video of myself. Here I'm saying some of the same things. And it doesn't always make sense. Sometimes I know what I'm doing, I feel like I've got it, I'm plugged in. Other times I just don't have a clue what's going on. So you might be saying, this guy's in the same place as he was two years ago. But wait. Since then, I've had amazing breakthroughs, new and better boxes, and not to mention acquiring the DR60 voice recorder. This has led me to reaching a new level of communication just by receiving the most information from the equipment in all the years of doing this. With the channel growing as much as it did, and the communication as strong as it was, I'd say 2018 was a pretty significant year. But here I am feeling like it's 2016 again. This is why linear data collection is so important. A pattern forms and we are able to see a bigger picture. As Teddy Roosevelt once said, I believe the more you know about the past, the better you are prepared for the future. What have I learned from all of this? That life doesn't move in a straight line, it spirals. 
that we continually come back to things we thought we understood and see deeper truths. So that means I've been here before, and yet at the same time still experiencing something new. Wow. I look forward to what's in store for this next year. My next video will be the second episode of The Hope Chronicles, and so that means this will be my last video for 2018. So with that said, I will leave you with a few of my favorite clips of this past year. I want to wish all of you a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year. I want to thank you all for following the new, the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please like the video, subscribe if you can. A lot more is coming. I love you all, and I hope to see you next year. God bless. If there's anyone here that would like any help, I'm encouraging you to, to ask for God or ask for Jesus Christ. Ask for the light. Can you hear me? I'm looking to communicate. Have you been... Have you been traveling? Have you been doing things? Have you been coming through other sessions with other people? Let me ask you, where are you standing outside my door? Are you standing in back? If I put my hand in the back seat, can you touch it? So this, this veteran's uh, uh, tombstone, James, and I asked if his name was James, and it sounds like he said he didn't remember. Is your name James? Remember. And then I asked him. Is that what you said, that you don't remember? So he said yes. Michael. Michael, how do I know you? I don't, he said. My question is, how come you are here? Are you someone that has crossed over? How long have you been with me? Sounds like you're saying a long time. Did you just say that you've been with me for a long time? How are you, my friend? Can you say anything? We're trying to get that up. We're trying to get like something. Speak. Speak. Larry, yeah, why don't you ask? We trust you. We know that you can help. He just walked away. You heard that?
Can you use this? What is the message? like for any of these loved ones to come through and say their names, say anything. comes from the next level. I I just saw a light pass by me. Can you come back? Can you There you are. Amazing. I can see you come past me.
are you in any kind of place where you are at some point wanting to explore more of the idea of God or do you have any take on on God at this point? Is he here? Is he here? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's no you stop. Anthony, earlier I asked you how you were, where you were, and you Anthony, um, I believe you said you were kind of in a place where you weren't feeling anything, or that you were not that you weren't feeling anything, or seeing much of anything, um, and I think that was you kind of. Like felt it was by choice, but you wanted to travel still. Like you still want to travel. Is that true? You know. Okay. 